welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Um, we're going to do our paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in for me. Um, I did remember to add some new inserts, well, the updated ones. Also, if you're new to my channel, I do make these inserts. You can find them in the description box listed below, along with our monthly budget and any other important um, budget inserts. Also, the budget box is listed below, but right now that is not available until for December until um, November the 15th. Okay, I'm going to use my brown pen today. That's what I've just been using this week. Oh, let's go back and review. I just thought about it. Let's review. Y'all, 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 I got to keep y'all up. What is going on? I had to get a new car, so my car note was due this week. But it will not be paid this week because I don't have a car note until the 15th of December. It is slightly higher um, than what I was paying. So, um, like, as soon as I got home, well, I did, I crunched the numbers at the dealership. And, I mean, it's doable. But I realized that in, um, like, three months out of the year, it's a little slower for me, which is typically the summer months, vacation months. But I have a plan. And so I'll talk about that later. But anywho, so last week we estimated 700. We ended up making 885. We did $118.75 in Norris Cove. Um, the miscellaneous, that was just me helping my coworker, was 55. We had a total of $1,058.75. So did pretty good. So uh, now that like I have this new car note, I don't know. <laughs> I'm planning to refinance it to get it lower, but I need to pay, um, some people are saying six months. I could possibly refinance in a month or two, um, but I want to definitely pay it up so that I could um, refinance it. So, <sighs> I hate that my, I, I love my car that I had, but it just is what it is. So, this is the week of the 7th through the 13th. It's coming out red, but it's okay. Um, source hair. Um, Norris Cove. And we'll do miscellaneous. So what I'm budgeting for Norris Cove, I'm gonna put let me kind of look at my schedule. It was this is like when I have the busy weekend, but not the beginning of the week is busy. So um yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to say, hmm, I'll say about, I think I could do 800 this week. I think I could do 800, but I'm going to put 750 to be on the safe side. And Norris Cove, at the moment, I don't think she's doing anything. I need to start getting better uh, with Norris Cove, so I'm just going to put zip here. Um, I may be able to help my coworker, but I'm still going to put zip for miscellaneous and let's just stick to what has to be done. Oh, also, I made a note here that I had to do Shopify this week too. I made a note here that I paid for a tune up on my car, but come to find out my car needed more than a tune up, so that's why I traded it in. But I did buy parts, which cost me $155. So I'm going to return those parts today, hopefully, and they'll refund me for that. But I'll put those on my credit card, which I kind of still paid cash for. Um, T Mobile, um, I gave them $103 and I put in another arrangement and traded my car, got a new car. I like to make little notes. This is why a note section is important to me. I like to make a note of things. So when I'm flipping back through my um, planner or my budget, I can see where certain things were done just in case I didn't write it down in my regular calendar or my yearly calendar. And then here I made a note that my mom's birthday is on Friday, but she'll be here on Saturday. So I was going to get a card but um, and have it mailed to her, but I think I'll just give it to her on Saturday. So that'll save me <laughs> some postage. Okay, so let's get back into this budget. So here we are, and I'm going to go to the, my monthly view. I don't think I've set up my November monthly. I might have. Um, I know I haven't done my monthly budget yet. Uh -huh. I need to get on that right now. Okay, so this is the week of the 7th. So we know we have Canva coming out, but I'm going to put Shopify down on the 10th as well. Because I haven't paid them. And I'm just going to put the 10th. 
38. And then Canva. This is still wrong. Wait a minute. Yeah. I must didn't change this half letter one. Oh my goodness. No, it says bill to the okay, I don't know. Anyway, um Canva is like fifteen dollars. I'm gonna put fifteen seventy seven. And what else do we have? I had car note down, so that's no longer due. But my car note will be, I think, on the 15th of December, I know. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Chase is due on the 11th. Well, we know we can give them something extra. Chase. And I think Chase is like 100 and something. So, I'm going to put 120. T-Mobile, oh Lord, about my plan for T-Mobile. My plan for T-Mobile is to kind of get them paid up so I can put them on a credit card or get one of my credit cards paid down so that I can start using uh, T-Mobile to pay them, well, using the card to pay T-Mobile and it can be drafted monthly and that way I don't have to worry about any like late notices or you know, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, so yeah, that's that. So T-Mobile is due on the twelfth, actually, and I believe it's two twenty-three, and that's an arrangement. And then on the thirteenth is Uplift, and thirteenth is Sunday. I'll probably pay Uplift on Friday, but I'm gonna just still leave it on the thirteenth, and that is forty dollars. So, now I don't have a car note this week. That helps me out a little bit, but I'm going to take what I was going to pay on my car note, and I'll probably be cash stuffing that this week, and car note is going to be a whole new envelope because I want to save weekly for my car note and then, like, have that rest at the end, if that, you know, makes sense, but it works for me. Uh, let's see. I want to look a week ahead. I'm looking at next week because um, in case there's something that I can pay, I have a couple of afterpays, so I'm going to put... After pay on here, and those aren't due to the like 15th and then the 17th, but I'm going to try to have those, and it's about a hundred dollars worth, so I'm just going to put a 15. Okay, and then Barclays is next week, so that lets me kind of see ahead what I have to do next week. And Barclays is like due on a Friday. Thursday and Friday for those bills. So I still want to kind of make a note. And then I would have another car note due next week. So I kind of want to make a note of those. So I'm going to put a note down here. And that's, that whole week, the 15th, oh, I have Capital One, all that stuff. All my credit cards, like my major big ones, are due within these two weeks. So I just want to um, make a note of that so that I can stay ahead. And that way I know, hey, any extras, you need to keep it in the bank for it next week. So, y'all, now that I have this new car note, because I was very comfortable with my other car note. Um, very, very comfortable. I love the interest rate. I love the payment, everything. I love the car. Well, now I have to... Um, be real diligent about my budget. Oh, I forgot booth rent. Let me write that down. And then what I'll do is as I, you know, add it up, I will see what can come off that doesn't need to be on here. leaves me at 786.77. Now, again, I don't necessarily have to pay these afterpays, um, but they will be due next week. I really want to include those. Um, T-Mobile, sometimes I will float them, but I really need to pay them because I have a plan and they're part of the plan. So I need to make an extra almost $50. Or yeah, almost $50. I, I'm probably going to get about $800, so I'm not even going to worry about this, but I want all of this to be paid because I'm so serious about um, my budget right now. Like, 
I'm cutting out eating out. I don't really do any unnecessary spending. I do a little Amazon, but it doesn't be like real bad. It's just like, it's just, <laughs> what is it? Like stuff for the shop kind of, you know? Okay. So anyway, we, again, we take the 786 attractive from the 750 and that's $36.77 that we are in the negative. But again, we may not be in the negative this is just a guesstimate and being that i'm 36 dollars and 77 cents short um again i would probably take out uh, chase may not be this much but i could float amazon i mean shopify excuse me i could float i have really to the end of the month for shopify so i could float that for another week you know when i had it so now imagine if i'd had my car note in here we really been out of been in trouble but <sighs> I'm not necessarily stressed about the new car note. It's just that I don't play about my car note. And I've been in those positions where I couldn't pay and have cars repossessed. And I just don't want to go through that. Again, it is slightly higher, but um, I'm going to make it work. And even if I have to pick up a little part-time something, it's going to get paid. So, And I'll just have to up my youtube and all that great stuff and just promote norris cove more that could help um and prayerfully the december box would do just as well as the november box or better because the november box is basically paid for the box and it was a little few out of pockets for me so i will not be able to like go unless it does super well so that is that for this week's budget um i guess i'll be doing my monthly i might do my monthly off um, camera because I feel like I'm kind of behind, but I still may do it. So, um, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this from me, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye.